All right, Shalawan, Shalawan. It's the young lion, my pot, Yasha Allah, the battle axe. Giving call, hello, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah. we rock a thumb to the 12. And today's lesson we're going to get into is predestination. All right? Because, you know, a lot of us, you know, when we wake up to this truth, you know, for the most part, man, we want to tell every damn body. You know, we want to talk to our sisters, our cousins. Brothers, mothers, fathers, you know, Grandpa Jenkins, Lord Day Day in them. You know what I'm saying? We want to tell every damn body. You know, nine times out of ten, we're expecting that they will give us the same response and reaction that we had when we first came into the knowledge of this truth. All right? But what we fail to realize is that nine times out of ten, we're going to get the exact opposite reaction. And when it happens... A lot of us are crushed because most people don't understand that this truth coming into this knowledge, this is based off of predestination. All right. This is all by election in the heavens from the foundation of the earth. All right. This is not something that you can just choose. All right. You cannot choose the Lord. The Lord has to choose you. All right. So let's get into it. It's the book of John chapter 15, verse 16. Yahweh Shah. He says, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. All right? So Hamashiach Yahweh Shah, the Messiah, he's letting you know right off the bat. All right? Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. So what does that mean to be ordained? All right, that means to be elected. All right, this is all about purpose, okay? You can't choose the Messiah. You can't choose Yahusha. He literally has to choose you from the heavens, all right? I remember back when I was in a Christian church, like way back before the Lord woke me up. I remember I used to see certain people in the church. And I would look at them and I would say, damn, that's a righteous brother right there. You know, I wish I could be, I, I wish I could be like that brother right there. I'm not good enough. All right? I used to really think that. And now look at it, 2018. These people that were asleep back then are the same people that are asleep today. That the Most High God didn't choose to wake up. All right? And look at me. I'm awoke. Because why? It's all based off election. They were actually blinded to come into this truth from the Most High. Most of them. And we're going to prove that. All right, so this is the book of Romans, chapter 11, verse 7. It says, What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Okay? It said the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. Okay? So what's the root word of election? Elect. Okay? The elect have obtained it. The ones who the most high God have chosen and the rest were blinded. And that's the same thing that we see when we try to wake up our parents. We try to wake up our loved ones. They can't see it. They can't see it worth a damn. Okay? Verse 8. As it is written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day. All right? So that's literally a spirit that's on our, 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 our loved ones, our family, our friends, the people that can't come into the truth. That's literally a spirit that the Most High God gave them from the heaven. He literally put that spirit on you. All right? He literally put that, that, that heavy, strong spirit to not, to not wake up, all right? That spirit of slumber. You say you dead sleep. All of this prophecy coming to pass. The RFID chip, you know, um, you know, uh, Donald Trump, you know, doing what he's doing, you know, uh, martial law, you know, the fear of cancer, whatever, whatever. 
all of these prophecies, everything. They can't see it because God gave them eyes that they should not see, all right, and ears that they should not hear, all right. They don't even want to. They don't even want to hear it. You try to tell me the Israelites, they don't want to hear it. They're not listening. They rather talk about Lord Yadi, all right. They can't get it. They do not know what's going on because the Most High God literally blocked them from entering this. All right, this is all from the heavens. Verse 9, it says, And David saith, Let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see, and bow down their back always. Okay? So all of this is predestined, man. If you are in this truth today, Man, thank the Lord. It's a, it's a gift from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right? It's a gift because destruction is coming. So, this is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 18. It says, And now, when I prepared the world which was not yet made, even for them to dwell in that, that now live, no man spake against me. For then everyone obeyed. But now the manners of them which are created in this world that is made are corrupted by a perpetual seed and by a law which is unsearchable with themselves. So I considered the world and behold, there was pearl, meaning danger, because of the devices that were come into it. And I saw and spared it greatly and have kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of a great people. Let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain, and let my grape be kept and my plant, for with great labor have I made it perfect. All right? So the Most High God, the same way in the day of, of the flood, when he kept his grape, you know what I'm saying, just a few people, all right, Noah and just a few people, and destroy everyone else. That's the same way the Most High God is going to keep his grape in the end, all right, and, and, and just destroy every, and just throw in a whole cluster, all right? Like, imagine I came up to you with a, with a you know, a whole cluster, of cold grape, big, juicy-ass grapes, right? And I took one grape, one grape. I just, I said, you know, I like that one right there. And I took me one grape, and I threw away the whole entire cluster. You would look at me like I'm crazy. But that's the same thing that the Most High God is getting ready to do with actual people. Okay? The Most High God, Yahweh, is going to take his elect. He's going to take that grape and he, uh, of the cluster and he's going to destroy everybody else. All right? And like he said, let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain, and let my grape be kept. Okay? So all of these other people that don't want to keep the law, statutes, and, and commandments, you was born in vain. It's vanity. It's all for nothing. You're going to be destroyed in the end. And that's just what it is, man. That's just what it is. So, you know, like I said, man, you know, we got to thank the Most High God for waking us up because this is a very serious thing. You know, a, a lot of brothers, you know, um, you know what I'm saying? Y'all real zealous, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all... Y'all, y'all really going all out for this truth. A lot of y'all sisters, you know what I'm saying? Even the children, man, that's in the truth. Y'all going all the way out, you know, trying to wake up people. And sometimes I understand you get into fusses, you get into fights, you get into arguments. I understand that. I teach you, you know what I'm saying? I teach you on the street with the brothers. I know what it is. You know, you deal with scoffers a lot of time. But this is what Yahweh Shah said, man. All right? This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 11. It says, and, and into whatsoever city or town ye shall enter, inquire who in it is worthy, and there abide till ye go thence. And when ye come into an house, salute it. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when ye depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. All right? 
So when you're trying to wake up your friends and your family, you know, your loved ones, the little shorty, that you're trying to bring her to the truth. So, you know, you, you might have a wife, whatever, whatever, whatever the case is, all right? When you're trying to wake up people and they don't receive the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah is telling you straight out, wipe the dust off your feet. You know, knock the dust off your shoulder. Very well done. You did a good job. You got the blood off your hands. You did exactly what the Lord wanted you to do. If they don't get it, that's on them. Don't worry about that. Who cares if they try to laugh you to a scorn? These people are the people that the Lord blinded. All right? Verse 15. It says, Verily I say unto you, pay attention. It says, It shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. All right? It shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment for that city. Because why? The Most High God is getting ready to judge this place. All right? He's getting ready to judge the earth with fire. All right? So Yahweh shall let you know, look, man, the way my father is about to judge this earth, the inhabitants of this earth, it, it's going to be more tolerable than Sodom and Gomorrah, a place where God let it rain fire than for these people. All right, it's, it's, it's going to really be that bad, <clears throat> you know. So, <clears throat> you know, when, when, when you're in this truth and you're in a crib and you're trying to do your thing, you know, you know, just knock the dust off your shoulder. You know, sometimes you're going to really have trouble at home, too. You understand? It's going to be problems in your household a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you know, people have, have, have spirits on them, spirits of wickedness, demons. You know, and when you're trying to do righteous things, like you're trying to, you know, obey the most high God and say, look, man, you know, um, I don't eat the swine no more. Or, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying, um, I don't celebrate birthdays no more. Or, or you know, man, look, I got to keep the Sabbath. Because the most high God, you know, you know, he made a covenant with my forefathers. I love God. I love the most high. I'm going to keep the Sabbath day. I'm going to keep his laws. That shit right there, excuse the language, that can, 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 can draw so much friction. Because all of this is on a spiritual level. Those demons that's on that person that God didn't wake up, that serving Satan, is going to sense your spirit. And it, nine times out of ten, it's going, to, it's going to clash. And the worst part about it is, a lot of times, it's going to be the people of your own household, your family members. All right? So this is the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 35. Yahweh shot talking. He said, for I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law and a man's foes, meaning his enemies, shall be they of his own household. Okay. Of his own household. All right. So brothers. Sisters, when you in the house and you trying to do your thing, and 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 you know it's so much friction because of you trying to keep the holy days and you being set apart, you must understand that you are living, or are, 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 are literally living out Bible prophecy on the right hand side, and that's a beautiful thing. You got to jump for joy because of that. All right, don't let that bring you down. All right. You suffering all of this for the sake of a Mashiach Yahweh because God chose to wake you up. All right. <clears throat> Verse 37. It says, he that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. All right. So I know time get rough. You know, it, it might be your first year in the truth. All right. And your mother's birthday coming around. Mm. Your daddy's birthday coming around. It might be your damn daughter. It might be your son. All right? You got to let them know. Look, this, look, I know. I know how we always kept it. But this year, we're not celebrating Christmas. We're not celebrating birthday. It ain't going to be no Halloween. All right? We're not doing Thanksgiving this year. Okay? I'm going to obey the Most High God. I'm not going to let nobody keep me from that. 
okay? You know what I'm saying? And, and nine times out of ten, the ones that, that, that like to partake in that wickedness, they won't hear it. But you are going to hear it because in the book of John, <clears throat> in the tenth chapter, Yahweh Shah made it known that his sheep hear his voice. All right? All oh, praise to the Most High. <clears throat> so this is the book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 1. It says, And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. All right. So these four angels that's holding back these four winds, all of this destruction, they're going to hold back all of this destruction until the 144,000 is sealed with the knowledge of the Most High God, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushah. All right? So when that 144,000 is sealed with this knowledge that we have right now, knowing that we the Israelites, knowing the laws, the commandments, the covenant, once we're all sealed, that's when all hell is gonna is gonna break loose on a mass level. Alright? So if you're in this truth in the last days, break down and thank the most high God. It's a gift. Alright? You may very well be predestinated for salvation. And with that said, I wanna say call halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Brock of Thumb to the 12. Shalom.